The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. It's Alex Jones. All right, folks. Uh, I've got just a standard uh, doctor checkup. I haven't got one in a while. Um, well, I got one last year. My blood pressure's gone down to really below normal, very healthy. Uh, I had some high blood pressure before that from obviously all the stress and not exercising enough. But I'm going back to get another checkup. They said six months later today, and it's at 2 o'clock. It's down the street. So I'm going to leave here in the last segment and David Knight's going to be here into overdrive some to also take calls from uh, Josh and Nelson and Bob and Lucas and Robert and others. Uh, we're getting Mark Moreno on the line. Do we have him? He is on the line. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to play David Knight's piece that he did. As I saw it in the news today, he did this piece last week for the Nightly News. We never aired it here on the radio, pointing out that a gallon of water is now more than a gallon of gasoline to show you how they have artificially uh, deflated the prices absolutely massively. Uh, so we're going to be uh, getting to that report and then into the final segment in overdrive. Uh, David Knight uh, will be here getting to your phone calls. Uh, but now Mark Moreno joins us. Mark Moreno, of course, uh, formerly uh, worked in Senator Inhofe's office. He heads up Climate Depot. He's advised Congress on supposed man-made climate change. First, it was global freezing, then global warming. Now it's just any change. And uh, the NPR and others are saying, hey, the Republicans now admit man-made climate change is real. Well, not really. They said climate change. 
Well, they had to vote because there is climate change. And that was attached to the Keystone Bill. Mark Moreno of ClimateDepot.com uh, joins us for 10 minutes. We appreciate him coming on uh, on short notice uh, to decipher exactly what happened. I mean, to me, this was like a classic manipulation where, okay, you want us to try to pass this bill? Uh, fine, just add on to it that you agree uh, that uh, man-made climate change is real, but the bill will say climate change is real, which of course we know it's changing, just not man-made. It's always changing. And then they can run around and lie and act like every scientist agrees and even every Republican agrees, you know, 98 to 1. Is that a correct analysis, Mark Moreno? Yeah, that is. Uh, if Senator Inhofe, I thought, did brilliant tactical maneuver. The whole vote was nonsense. It was just a diversion. Bernie Sanders came up with it originally. Senator Whitehouse from Rhode Island was involved. They're all, they were just trying to get, they're trying to, in their mind, embarrass Republicans into uh, being called deniers of global warming. But as you pointed out, you, it's perfectly acceptable to say climate change is real. That's all the Earth's ever done in its entire history is change climate. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a meaningless thing. And the other, they actually had a vote that was 50 to 49, and I think five Republicans People like Susan Collins and uh, Lamar Alexander and Lindsey Graham voted on this, and that was that man-made uh, causes are causing climate change. So we have at least five weak Republicans. All the Democrats voted for that, and uh, this is a this is going to be a political football, especially after President Obama's State of the Union. It certainly is. We've been having a lot of successes exposing the fraud, but it seems they're doubling down. And I noticed. A record number of private jets flying into Davos uh, with them running around chirping that, we, that none of us should have a carbon footprint and Africans can't have heating. Uh, this is uh, really uh, hypocritical, isn't it? Yeah, and in fact, I, I just went to the Peru, Peru UN Climate Summit back in December, and it's literally 10,000 people. They're calling it, they call it a traveling village of UN delegates, bureaucrats, world leaders, uh, celebrities uh, and just about anyone else, billionaire, green investments, trying to you know, suck more money off government uh, uh, nipples. That's what these. That's what they do. They come in in private jets. Leonardo DiCaprio typically shows up. Al Gore shows up, and it r rotates around the world. The frightening thing we're facing now, Alex, is the science is on them. They're they're reduced to claiming things like hottest year, which was just total and absurd. Absurd nonsense. And we had scientists saying this was misleading, this was lying, NASA was caught lying, uh, this was deception. And President Obama is going full steam ahead, and the Republican leadership is now entertaining the idea that they're only going to talk about regulations and economics and not deal with the science of global warming, not challenge the science. Led by Lindsey Graham, they're going to talk about just, you know, essentially saying Republicans need to come up with a solution to global warming. And leading the charge in all this is Mitt Romney, who came out yesterday once again sounding like Al Gore, saying that global warming is a very serious problem. So and we have Chris Christie, who's probably one of the front runners, and his own EPA is praising President Obama's EPA climate regulation. So sure. Christie, it's, it's, we, are, we have literally won every battle of global warming skeptics in this battle. But because of President Obama's sheer audacity in doing these executive orders and now doing a U.N. treaty without consent of Senate, the Senate, they're talking about a ratification process that will not involve a Senate vote because they're going to ratify it under a 1992 disastrous U.N. treaty that was done under George H.W. Bush. Uh, and by the way, anyone who thinks we need a third Bush in office need, need to look at nothing less than the global warming record of the previous two Bushes. And, and, yeah, and you, know, you, you know this too well about their whole globalist agenda, uh, especially when it comes to the United Nations. That, uh, George W. Bush sent a delegation every year to the U.N. conferences. George W. Bush rubber-stamped the U.N. climate reports. He rubber-stamped the U.N. negotiating process. George H.W. Bush went further and actually signed the Rio Earth Summit Treaty and actually submitted and got ratified a U.N. treaty, which has caused us so much grief, led to the Kyoto Protocol, and, and it's going to lead to successive global warming treaties. So I don't think we're ready for a third Bush to take on this issue and a lot of other issues. Oh, wow, Mark Moreno, just veritas coming out of your mouth when you actually know the facts and read the news every day like I do. It's all hidden in plain view that most scientists say man-made global warming is a fraud. Most scientists say it's a power grab, it's a wealth transfer to select billionaires who then get to exempt their companies like General Electric was exempted by Obama 
with a waiver from their own carbon taxes to shut down their competition. This is a conscious, larcenous criminal takeover. The same special interests that are greasing the Democrats are greasing the Republicans. We can't get a partial birth abortion uh, victory out of these groups now that the Republicans have both sides. They're letting Obama run completely wild with executive power grabs setting the precedent. I mean, what do you, we've already seen a political realignment with all these incumbents getting thrown out. I'm, uh, what are the Republican leaders thinking or are they blackmailed? Why are they going along with an agenda? Why won't they repeal Obamacare? I mean, what the hell is their problem, Mark? I, I don't know, but I think our biggest challenge isn't fighting Obama. It's going to be fighting Republican leadership. And yes. that's, where, that's, that's always been that way, in, in, in essence. But I think President Obama will go down. I think he's surpassed LBJ. I think we're talking level of FDR. He may surpass FDR and the ability he has to, trans, to truly transform America, be it on immigration, be it on health care, be it on climate. And remember, climate, as MIT scientist Richard Linton said, he who controls carbon dioxide controls life. It's a bureaucrat's dream to control carbon dioxide. It affects every aspect of our life. Japanese government telling citizens to go to bed an hour early. The German government doing PSAs, telling people uh, not to, to have sex in the dark to save the planet from global warming, not to turn the lights off when you make love. It's about yeah. teaching you to have less so the ruling class of collectivists can have everything and giant palaces and mistresses and huge <laughs> jet aircraft and then we have nothing and austerity is so sexy and cool. It's the total totalitarian wet dream. It is, and, and they're talking about uh, they're talking about a CO two budget for every man, woman, and child on the planet. They're talking about CO two budgets issued by your employer, which will have to be surveilled. Money. That'll mainline NSA spying. Yeah, and they've already got they've already had in California proposals to regulate your home thermostat, uh, just like that. What the TV show, the outer limits. You are not you, know, you are not in control. Uh, they are, and they've talked about that. They're they've affected our dishwashers, our washing machines, our light bulbs. This is their excuse cars. to roll out the smart grid spy system. In closing, Mark Moreno of ClimateDepot.com, you are the global expert on fighting. Uh, Lord Moncton is the global expert on you know developing a lot of the scientific reports with scientists as probably the leader or, or co-leader of the resistance to this evil what do we do you've got three minutes well well right now we've got to keep the republican party uh from committing even further climate suicide what we historically have republican party has picked the environment the most liberal members of any republican administration are typically the EPA directors or anyone that has to deal with environment. And that goes back to Richard Nixon. In fact, it's so bad that all former Republican EPA directors testified on Capitol Hill that they sub supported Obama's global warming regulations. And that's the problem. Even in the Senate and the House, Republicans are always willing to throw out environmental regulations. The left knows this. They are now putting, as, as Vaclav Klaus actually said, now that the fall of the Eastern Bloc and the Soviet Union, the greatest threat we face is what he termed ambitious environmentalism masquerading in the global warming issue. Republicans have to wise up. This is the issue that's going to define freedom in the 21st century. I agree. It's a bigger threat than yeah. radical Islam. It is the global takeover threat. It absolutely is, because they are going to justify, as I said, when you control CO2, you can control transportation, uh, waterways, the, the air, regulation, um, airlines, your home energy use, every appliance you can imagine. They have already statutorily uh, killed the American SUV. Americans just don't realize it yet. We're already talking about massive influxes of aluminum SUVs coming in, the body on frame disappearing, an aluminum Jeep might be coming in a year or two, all because of global warming regulations. Has everyone seen those global warming stickers on new cars? Well, the new fuel economy standards are going to be kicking in. Are the Republicans going to do anything about that? Or are they going to statutorily kill the American SUV? That's coming, Alex. People aren't even aware of it yet. So we've won the info war, but the tyrants are in control of the central systems. Any good news in 30 seconds? Well, the good news is the science continues to, to collapse on them. And there has been talk of them moving over to other eco scares, environmental scares. They're talking about sustainable development, species extinction, because they're losing some of their own left-wing scientists. And in my documentary, Climate Hustle, which will be out later this year, I profile politically left-of-center scientists who, people who loved Al Gore, people who are even more radical than you know, your average Democrat from on a leftist point of view, who actually review the evidence and can no longer be part of the global warming movement. So they're losing some of their own members on the science That's basis. Right. But uh, the, the only hope we have here 
is the next president has to rescind all these executive orders.